history is largely unkind to losers. That's true in the world of politics and sports, and it follows on with a few caveats in the realm of automobiles. In terms of cars, historic losers tend to be remembered in one of two broad ways. Every once in a while, unsuccessful or oddball models actually make reputational gains after some time away from the new car marketplace. I consider the Saab 92X one of the recent poster children for this group, a car that moved like molasses on dealer lots in the mid-2000s but has morphed into a sort of hard-to-find, used gem in recent years. More often, though, that which was unloved when new remains unloved with tens or hundreds of thousands of miles on the odometer. Pontiac seriously misunderstood as has king status here, despite the wailings of oddball fan clubs across the nation, so much so that invoking as as a pejorative stopped being pithy about a dozen years ago. I just spent a week driving the 2013 Acura ZDX, a vehicle whose distinct charms cannot save it from placement somewhere on the continuum of failed automotive experiments. It remains to be seen if the crossover will ultimately land in the billowy, judgment-free zone many reserve for Subaru, Prats and BMW M Coupes, or the wasteland occupied by the Yugo GV, Cadillac Cimarron and their disappointing elk. I'm sure that's not what Tackerel wants to hear. The truth is that car companies don't experiment in big splashy ways as often as they used to in years past in part because the cost associated with the risk is just way too high. And that makes me a bit sad, and it makes me want to root for iconic lasts like the ZDX all the more. I can only hope that lessons learned with this model make Acura's next experiment more successful in the marketplace, not that it causes the company to give up trying altogether. Both outcomes are possible, even if the latter is more likely.